and then I just die because I suck at RNG. How's it going? I finished using the catapult. Not bad at all. New stuff you can choose directly from the beginning. Oh, okay. How many fortes have I used? Sir, I've only used three fortes. Okay. We're gonna use. That's not what I wanted. There's apparently a treasure over there. Let's let's glide. Okay, so that's five. We've used five. Six. Seven. Eight. You would think he would tell me how to use orders. That should be it. All right, Levanter. I used four days. How's it going? Not bad at all. Just like in Bravely Default 2, I don't. I know I played Bravely Default 2, but I could not tell you the premise of that game. I remember Bravely Default and Bravely Second, but. Bravely Default 2. I got nothing. <clears throat> Sir, I would love to issue orders to my monsters for you. If you would tell me how to do that. Hi. Hi. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go back to Souderhorn Station. <laughs> Thanks, Nimbus. You love games with good battle systems, it carries the game. I love good battle systems, I just didn't like the battle system in SMT5. Well, it was fine outside of the, if you miss one attack, you're like severely punished for it. I'm already mad, I missed my attack. Let's get our new treasure appraised. All right, let's go home. You like Dragon Quest just because it's like the Dragon Ball, the RPG. Funnily enough, I love Dragon Quest, but I have never watched Dragon Ball. Ever. We're back. Maybe like a handful of episodes when I was really young because they were on Cartoon Network. What kind of treasure is it? I've never seen this before. Wax Murderer. I love him. It's a candlestick with a knife. Statue of a monster of mysterious provenance. I've never seen this before. Soft serve spook. What a cutie. Hey! We got a new treasure. He's worth a decent amount of money. Alright. Aw, oh, it's a mud man again. This was my starter in Dragon Quest Monsters. He came back to me. This is great. This is like a Pokemon game? I guess it's a monster collecting game. The focus is more on collecting treasure than it is on collecting monsters. The way you befriend them is you, like, shoot them with befriending pellets with your little slingshot. Or, um, whenever you kill one, it's, like, impressed with you and it wants to join you and then you have to give it a little gift. 
a diplobot has arrived at the base. Speak to him in front of the station and he'll help you connect with other gangs. Okay. But you do need the monsters to carry your treasure for you. But the Dragon Quest Monsters spin-offs, I think, are more similar to Pokemon games. I can't quite believe how much treasure you've collected already. And now, if you wouldn't mind, I'd like to introduce you to someone. He's a very dear friend of mine. He's got a little hat! Please do meet you. Eric, I am... Alan, the Diplobot. Mr. Euston provided data on your gang. Potential for assistance detected. I can connect you to other gangs, gangs from distant locations. You hide selected treasure in selected place, so other gang seeks it out. Outcome, enjoyment. If interest present, please speak to me. I can now interact with other gangs. Like, like online. Am I still paying for the switch online service? I probably am. I don't think I ever canceled that. Pretty sure the last time I used that was when I played Animal Crossing during quarantine. Huh. Alan knows all about diplomacy and inter-gang relations. Talk to him if you're keen to find out more. Oh, and I have a message from the foreman. As you know, he was taking a look at that door down in the snarl. Well, he says he's managed to get it open. You should head over there and find more, find out more post haste. All right. Eric and the others head to the Snarl to find the foreman. I still think it's weird that you gave your basement a nickname. That's, that's a little odd. Hello there. I managed to break the door down, as you can tell. Thank you for all your hard work, Mr. Foreman. Now let's see what awaits us up ahead. More of the basement. Oh, and whatever this is. This is one of those teleportals, isn't it? I wonder where it leads. We'll need to be careful, though. I've no doubt that there's treasure on the other side, but it might very well be dangerous, too. Is that a rock over there? Oh, it looks like the foreman spotted something. Perhaps he should take a closer look next time you have a moment. I reminded you that your switch is resting deep hidden and you bought Unicorn Overload for it? Overlord for it? You gotta get on that. I've heard good things about that game. You can now explore the snarl. If you ever want to return to the surface, you can do so anytime by selecting go to square or retreat from the main menu. Okay, what's going on with this rock? Ancient runes appear to have been carved onto the monument, but Eric can't read, can't make head nor tail of them. It's a fancy rock. The treasure here has changed. Oh, hey, look, a box. <laughs> treasure. Mid heel pellet formula, a document detailing the formula for making mid heel pellets, difficulty medium. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, I needed this. Sanguinite, thank you. I can restore another train station. Alright, I feel like I should change my monsters. Recommended level 10. I can handle level 10. Hold on. My cat's doing something.
someone was knocking on the door and my cat hates visitors, so she came to hide in my room. And I don't care to open the door. But yes, I will enter this portal. I'm here now. Reach gang level six. Okay. Um, go to next level? There's nothing here. A queen slime. Unicorn Overlord is only around 35 hours. I expected it to be longer. Than that. Although I guess no, I guess that's fair. A dread Draki has been scouted. Okay. Ow. A teleportal materializes. All right. Oh no, devil, uh, digital devil saga is 35. Okay. That makes more sense. Ow. Dang it. I would like the little butterfly effect to go away. Stop following me. Stop following me. Hi, you've got a fancy stick. Hmm, wander in here by mistake, did ya? I did the same. Still, a traveling merchant is never off duty. Care to do some shopping? D sure. Where did I get all of this money from? I mean, I don't own these, so I feel like I should buy them. I don't know what I'm using my money for, so I might as well. Is it the cat from my avatar? Yes. Yes. Her name is Callie. She is very much a scaredy cat. But at the same time, she likes to scare people. Like she'll deliberately hide and then jump out at you to, to scare you. And then she does like a little prance. It's hilarious. I leveled up. Ow. I thought everything was dead. I was wrong. I'm here now. How many floors are there? I want a king slime. I need you to be the friend. Yes, the king slime was scouted. Hopefully he wants something I can actually obtain. A sham ham witch was also befriended. What button did they say I could press to heal myself? What was that in the log book? Battles. Hold down X. Okay. 
I thought I was. Is she still young, young Katsu? No, she's uh she's ten. But she acts like a kitten. She's a little weirdo. And I love her for it. Let's speak to that monster later. I got another. Oh no, this one was a ham hat witch. A greasy palm metal. Oh, you only got to pick one? I wanted all three. I was cheated. I was cheated. At least we're gonna get to recruit more things from this, though, I guess. I can sense the presence of a powerful enemy on the other side of the portal. Are you sure you want to enter? Yes, because I'll be honest, I don't know how to exit. I've got like 80 million pellets. Oh, hi. No, don't, don't come near me. No. Ow. Can I shoot your, like, head? Ow. Nope. No, no, no. Nope. Nope. Run away. Run away. I will shoot you from afar. With my little ship damage. Nope. Why is it not locking on? There we go. Stay away from me. Oh, someone got him. He's like down. Golden? No, I'm gonna die. Run away. Run away. Stay away from me, sir. Hopefully this is the final floor. I might actually run out of these pellets. Who knew? I should have waited to do Levanter's quest until now. Ready? I know my monsters are out of MP. Okay, let's just... Alright, we're done. I beat the golden dude. Reward. Oh, I was being timed? Okay. That wasn't so hard. I got a shadow medal for my, my troubles. The enemy seems to have dropped something. Eric acquires five chunks of, oh, wow. That's a lot. Five of it, so now I have six. I can open so many train stations. This could be fun, but you really want new Dragon Quest to be turn-based. Wait up. It is weird that this one isn't. Because I think Dragon Quest Monsters The Dark Prince came out after this, and that one is turn based. <laughs> Although I guess Dragon Quest Builders is not turn based. Pretty sure. It's been a minute since I've played them. I heard you were going to find out what's on the other side of the portal. Well, I'm coming too. I can't let you have all the fun. Huh? Wow. That's a cool treasure chest. Let's open it. So you just come at the end to steal my treasure? I see how it is. 
This is another one of those stone tablets. Here's hoping it can teach us something about the seven stones. Let's see what it says. The amber horn rests with a red-hued colossus, the king of the fiery mountain. Okay. Well, it's about another dragon stone, the amber horn to be precise. The fiery mountain, that must be Cinderback Ridge. So, yes, and if we can find this red-hued colossus, the amber horn will be ours. I mean, I'm sure it won't be quite that easy, but if it gets us a dragon stone, it'll be worth it. Okay. I got the Horn Hoarder's Tablet. Eric and Mia exit the teleportal and leave the dungeon behind them. You've discovered new information concerning the quest, The Giant's Horn. Set this quest as your current objective? No. I'm, I'm doing other stuff. The quest has not been set as your current objective. You can change this at any... Yeah, I know. 